Hey guys, so I'm looking through the viewfinder at the minute. I know there's been a few complaints about lighting issues. It's just really difficult to call on this Olympus EPL8 I'm using. The other camera was much easier but the focus wasn't as good. So we're doing a shot my stash. So I've been trying to do them every two weeks. There's products in here that are going to have to stay in just purely because I use them. I think there's um, two products that will be staying in. But we'll talk about them as and when we get to them. So I'm just checking again. Yeah, it looks fine to me on my end. Um, whether it's going to be fine in editing is another issue. I was debating whether to do this shot my stash today, guys, because I'm really not well. Um, I'm going to talk about it more in a video, I think, on Monday. But I've not been well now for quite a few days, and that's why I've not used all the makeup up, because I've not been wearing makeup. Some of the base products I'm getting fed up of. The blushes, however, a lot of them I've only used once, and I want to really use them a little bit more than that so we're just gonna probably not switch out too much of the cream blush anyway let's let's just get into it I might change my mind as I'm going through my stash and um, but let's get into it let's do the palettes first so the palettes that I know are going back oh. what's this one didn't even use that one. See, there's not many. But I didn't... Oh, actually, that one. I didn't actually pull that many. There's two still in here from the previous shot, my stash, just that I want to use. So there's the Flower Beauty Jungle Lights one. Oh, I can put it down a little bit now. So there's the Flower Beauty Jungle Lights one. I want to use that at least one more time. There's also the Rude Cosmetics City of Dreamy Lights. Not even used that one. I've not used this one. I think I'm going to use this Pat McGrath Labs one today. I said in last week's video, all I want to use is, is that shade there, the Jewel Chrome. So I probably use that today and then and then both these palettes will go back as well. The Urban Decay Naked and then the Pat McGrath Labs in I Ecstasy Sublime. So I'll just keep them out for now and then when I've used them I'll put them into my palette drawer. All these ones are gonna be going back. I've also got the Clydos Flower Punk. It's not really to be used in the shop my stash. It's here for when like if I if I was to carry a shot my stash on for three weeks, I'd probably run out of eyeshadow palettes. It's there for that reason. I wouldn't do a look on camera with it, um, but I'd use it anyway. So I've used it once already. I just want to use it one more time. That palette needs to go back. So does that one. I did get these eyeliners. These are going to stay in all summer. I did a haul on them but you won't have seen that yet. So palette wise guys I'm just going to run through them quickly. We have the Primark Honey. I'll show you them but I'm not going to talk about them because it just makes the Shop My Stash video way too long. Last week it was an hour and a half and I don't have time to be editing that much um, to be honest so I'm going to try and run through these products as quickly as possible. If it feels like it's rushed then I'm sorry. Um, you guys have told me that you do still want me to do the review portion of it and I am trying to accommodate you and also I'm trying to make things that little bit easier for me in editing as well because um, I don't want to be spending a full day on editing a half an hour out of a video it was a nightmare last week, um, but I wanted to do it for you guys. So I've got this Pat McGrath Labs Rose Decadence one. It's a really pretty packaging, and the colour story is quite pretty as well. I didn't think it was me, but we'll talk about that more at the end of the month. Um, we've got this Revolution Creator Revolution Cake Palette. Let me just say, guys, this is an awful palette. I don't want to wait till the end of the month to tell you. You can see I've used pretty much all of the eyeshadows apart from this one. Um, when it's water activated, so the water activated liner palettes. So when you put water in, I want to show you really. 
want to show you what I mean. Um, I need a liner. I mean, if you know of a better way to use it, please tell me in the comments. So, sorry, all that's in that is water, but you can use setting spray as well. I'm going to go in with the darker shade, which is this pink here, just so I can show you. So, I'm going to put some water in. Right, so you can see it's got a white cast here, hopefully. Um, right, they're just not pigmented at all. I mean, when I put it on the hand, it is a little bit. You can build it up, but when it goes in the eye line, guys, I mean, you can see it's not that pigmented there, but when it goes in the waterline, guys, it's not that pigmented. It might be okay for like just doing winged eyeliner, but I don't do that. I'm not very good at it, so I've got a feeling I will be decluttering that. I don't even know who I'm going to give it to. My niece is too young for things like that, but I might see if she wants to have a play with it. And then we've got this Cosmic Brushes Royal Rose Seconds Palette. This one, I was... So that one I was completely different about. Um, I absolutely love this palette. So out of the ones that I'm showing you now, I feel like this one was my favourite, which was quite surprising because it is a seconds palette. Um, so yeah, I really, really do like it. We'll be discussing it more at the end of the month. Um, so in another week, say, I'll be telling you my likes, if there's any dislikes. Um, but yeah, I do really like that for £4.50 plus shipping. I think it was a great deal for me. Um, so four palettes are going back. I'm just going to pop them on the vanity there. Um, right, so this section, I don't know if you can see it, so let's put you up again. Right, so this section here has got all my base products, so let's just talk about them. Um, where shall I start? Foundations. I think that's as good a place as any. I pulled three, plus I had my Project Pan one. And the reason I pulled three is because I didn't know whether that would be too dark by itself. I think the light needs to go down. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I didn't know if this one would be too dark by itself. Let me know, guys, if, if this um, light is okay for you. I mean, I have concerns because it looks pretty dark, um, but I'm hoping that it's okay. I know on a couple of my videos, which you'll see later on, you, you're not going to see it before this one, the lighting is terrible, so I do apologise about that, but I've inserted pictures of what I'm trying to show you in the video, so hopefully it won't be too bad. So this is the Essence Hydro Hero 24 Hour Hydrating Tinted Cream with 88% um, natural ingredients. It's got an SPF of 15, which is nowhere near what you need, um, but it's good that it has that. It's in the shade 05 Natural Ivory. I've not seen any shades lighter than this and it's 30ml so we can put that back um, and then I wore this as well. Sometimes I wore both of them together so we've got the 17 Glow Is Everything CC Cream. I've said this before, I don't like this by itself um, but mixed with something else then yeah I do like it. I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, then we've got the L'Oreal True Match Nude I really do like this, it's really lightweight, it looks like it's about down to here. Um, my shade is 0 0.5 to 2, very light, and it is too dark guys, so I mixed it with this one as well, so I'm glad that I did pull this one in, because if I didn't, I would have just pulled it in anyway. So let's put these foundations back. Just not enough room, I'm going to have to put them with some other things, with the concealers. Okay, right, so what have we got now? We've got this interesting brow product. It's really good, guys. I got it from Poundland. It's the collection Incredible Brow, and it's a brow primer, and it fluffs your brows up really, really nicely. I don't wear it when I wear my Jason Wu brow soap, but when I don't, I, and, I want, and I want my brows to look nice quickly, then I'll put that on. Um, so we've got some powders here, so we've got this Fenty Beauty Powder in the shade Butter, real, real nice, um, so let's pop that back. Um, I need another tray, because I've done a bit of organising today guys, and um, yeah, I need another tray for um, 
my powders. I don't think I've got anything, have I? Hang on. I'm just going to see if I can do this with you. Right, well, I don't want to do anything with them. It's got my highlighters, but I've got a couple of bigger trays here. Oh, I don't think it's going to fit. Oh, yeah. Right, so then, this one, I don't think will fit in as well, will it? No. Right, so these powders here, we're going to pop these away in this bigger thing here. Right, so press powders and loose powders are going to go together, guys. There's going to be loads of room in here because this crate is massive. I don't know whether to put foundations in this one. I think I am. I had foundations in that originally and there's just way too many foundations. Right, so let's just bring this crate up. Sorry about doing this in my shop, my stash, but I thought you might want to see it. So we'll title it organisational video as well. Um, so can you see it? You can't even see it, sorry. You should be able to see it now. I need to brighten the light. Right, that's good. Um, right, so I'm going to put my glass bottles on the bottom. Should really do it in order of me using them, but I won't do it that way. I don't have the patience. Why on earth have I got this many foundations? Um, there's some more that... That isn't a foundation, there's some more there. I don't think there's even going to be any room in, in there. Right, let's try. Right, so let's kind of place these on top. I'm sorry if you're not seeing it, but I will give you an overview at the end. I have not used this one in a hot minute. I might actually pull that out today. This is definitely better, but it's still, still looking a bit of a hot mess, guys. primers well we've got primers and concealers would be good if we could at least have primers and concealers separately wouldn't it right so let's try and do it's not gonna fit we put that there but then we've got powders right let's put the powders over here I don't know what other way to do it. Right, so I've moved some of them foundations up a bit. I don't have that many concealers, so I'll just pull the concealers out that I do have. She says, I don't have that many concealers. Um, I've got some in Project Pan. Right, that'll do it. It's not as neat as I would like it because I'm a neat freak when it comes to my makeup. Right, so the primers. <clears throat> that can go. That's a brightening eye cream. That really should go with concealers. <clears throat> Don't really have that many primers. There's a couple in a different section what Naomi got me. And she also got me this little one, this luminous one to try, which I've not opened yet. Um, I wish there was a different way of doing it. 
I just can't see it. I mean, what I could do is put like medium coverage, light to medium coverage, no, medium coverage foundations with primers. And no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like skin tint with primers, I think. Let's tear this out. Maybe I can use this box here. Okay, so get that there. Um, we will get there eventually. Um, right, so get the skin tints and stuff. You're not going to see this because the acrylic is too far down. But you will see it at the end. So I, I really want like all the glass balls together and then things in this packaging together as well just so it makes it easy for me to see and actually these two I want these two to go together with the other lighter coverages um, because I'm always like well where's this where's that I can never find them and even though this is in a glass bottle and it is a skin tint I'm going to keep it here Right, I think that's it. My only issue now is where do I put all this stuff? Because I've got bubbles in there and whatnot. They're just going to have to go somewhere else. The eyeshadow shields can go there. My sellotape can go in the primers. That can go... Do I want to keep it? Yeah, I'd like to keep that for some more powder, so I'll find a place for that. And then this crate I'll be able to use somewhere else as well. So let's just put that on the bed. Like I said, I'm really sorry about that. I'm going to take you off the tripod now in case I forget at the end. And you can see it. Right guys, so we put this plastic acrylic in, it doesn't really go in, it doesn't really go with the rest of the crates but as you can see all my glass bottles are in here and I'll be able to see them so we've got concealers there as well. Um, I can't really put them anywhere else unless I put them with primers and I don't really want to do that. Foundations, concealers, like skin tints are here in this plastic acrylic. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a lot of skin tints now, so I certainly don't need that. Um, there's some powder puffs there, and then we've got my illuminators there, and I got this. I have done a haul on it, it's from Wilco, and it's the Essence Hydro, it's the Essence Hydro Hero um, under eye stick, and it's deeply hydrating and curing. Really, what I should do is bring the Essence Hydro skin tint out again I think I might do that when we get to picking products and then over here guys we've got all my powders um, and then we've got primers here it's not the best setup right let me just try something out right guys so what I'm definitely gonna pull is this so it's the Essence Hydro Hero under eye stick like I told you before this one is probably more skincare, but we'll pull that. Um, and then with that, I'm going to pull that back out. I really enjoyed this anyway. We'll have had like a month with it. Let me know if you want me to do a kind of get ready with me testing these two products out together. I'm more than happy to do it, but just leave, leave me a like on the video, leave me a comment, um, and let me know if you want to see it. As that Essence Tinted Moisturiser is new on the market so you might want to see that. So the next one is I think this one this collection Last Imperfection Weightless Foundation. This is new as well. I got this for a pound guys so it would be rude not to and I did really want to pull this though. Maybe I'll do that one maybe I'll do that one next fortnight. Um, so I don't think I'm going to pull... Right, I've had to turn the brightness up because it's a little bit later on. 
what I did forget to pull is illuminators. Do I need one? Oh, a concealer actually. I got this new one from Seventeen. It's the Second Skin Enhancing Concealer, so I want to pull that. So we'll just pop that in there. I'm going to put this powder back, the Laura Geller one we spoke about earlier. What do I want to bring in then? I've got a pressed powder but I want to cycle through these. I want to bring in this um, loose powder by number 7. It's the Translucent Perfect Light. Um, so I definitely want to use that. I think I'm going to just put this away for a, a rotation just while I use that a little bit. Oh, shall I keep it in? No, we'll keep both of them in. Um, and then we'll do another press. Or will we? I'm not feeling them. So, right. We use this e.l.f. one. It's the sheer tint finishing powder and I've hit pan on it. Quite a significant pan. So, it's not in project pan or anything but I do want to use it up, so we'll do that. Um, and I'm just trying to establish do I want... I don't think I need another illuminator, just because I've got this in for illuminating purposes, this Glossier Future Dew. But the products are going to stay in for two weeks, I'm just wondering, to I'm just wondering whether to fetch something in. Um, that I haven't used in a while. Um, no, I'm not feeling anything, so we'll leave that. Um, and then that's everything for that top row. Do you know what I can? Oh, whoops. Do you know what I can do is put some of these powders in here. And I've all oh, project pan things there on top. Okay guys, so now we're going to go over to the bigger collection and pick out everything else. So let's go and do that. Right guys, so we're going to pick eyeshadow palettes out first, shall I? Dim the light a bit. Um, so last night I was going through eyeshadow palettes and every single eyeshadow palette that I looked at was bright. It, it was like pastel um, and I don't want them all to be pastels. And then I came across them. this one here. I got this for Christmas believe it or not and I still haven't used it, it's the Sample Beauty the Equaliser Volume 2 so I'm going to put that on the vanity, I think 4 palettes is about normal unless I'm going to do a roulette with one of them, I might pull one out just to do a roulette might pull this one out I really didn't like this when I first got it um, so I'm going to pull that out and we're going to do a roulette so just one look with that um, because I've used all of the eyeshadows but I feel like when it comes up here I have used them all I think I've used them all anyway um, like doing roulette I ask you guys if you prefer to see like two or three looks with a palette or if you like to see um, me do like a bingo roulette and some of you have said a bingo roulette but for the most part you do like to see me do the look so thank you for voting it really does mean a lot it, it means that I can do the looks that you want me to so I'm really really appreciative of that so we've got them um, right so 
I want to pull these in. I've had these a while now and I have been using them off camera and like that pastel palette um, so it wrong way around and like that pastel palette from Revolution I'm not mad keen on them and I'm going to be pulling pastels out so I want to do a review on these and also on that palette um, so that'll be coming soon these are kind of a dupe for the P. Louise ones but so far not impressed so we're going to pull them um, I don't think anything from here I don't think anything from that. I do want to use this at some point, but I want to use all of the eyeshadows in that. I don't just want to do a bingo roulette because I want to establish if I want to keep it or declutter. The eyeshadows for sure are nice eyeshadows, um, but I just didn't like it the first time I used it. So that's that. Shall we have a look? Single eyeshadows if I want to pull any in. Right, so I'm just going to take you over here. So here are all my lipsticks. We've got all my special eyeshadow palettes there. Um, so, yeah, lipsticks take up quite a portion of the drawers. But I got this new unit from Primark. It was £10 and it comes with a drawer, which has got all my special eyesh like it's got all my special cream eyeshadows in it. I don't think I want to pull anything from there, or do I? I think I'm going to have to do a declutter really, really soon because the Steeler ones especially, I, they're just drying up. We'll leave that for this time. Then in this section, it holds a lot, guys. I've got all my single eyeshadows. Don't think I want anything from there. But then in these two sections here, it holds my colour pop. Right, so anything in here I want to try that's quite nice it's like a burnt orange I want to try these just purely because I don't know if they've expired so that's a contender I'm gonna swatch them for you guys towards the end of the video I've not long had that so that doesn't need to be used that one can be decluttered. We'll do that in the eyeshadow declutter when I come to do that. Not going to do it now. Um, we'll pull this one out as well as like in a corner highlights. So that's the shade Oon. We'll pull this out for a crease shade. So that's the shade Hanky Panky. I'm pulling loads of shades out but I'm not going to be using them all. We'll pull La La out. Like the shimmers I'm going to be swatching just to see what I want to use the most. That one's quite nice as well. That one's in the shade Blaze. And then I think that's it for this drawer. I know I love telepathy. I've got two of them. I know I love that. And then... No. No, I don't want to use any of those. So, <clears throat> we'll take a look at that later. Um, now, I did want to pull my Colourpop Barbie palette out, but I'm not going to do that either. Um, just because I've got my eye on some pastel palettes that I want to bring out. So, what I'm going to do is... I'll, I'll put you back on the tripod and lower the tripod down so it's a bit steadier. Right, so here we are in the drawer. I think I'm going to and sit on the floor with you guys this was no stand up this was one of the palettes i really wanted to pull so i'm gonna pull that so we've got two palettes there at the moment plus the other ones this was another one so you'll see the pastels that's my self-made palette um i don't know if you've seen the video on it yet yeah i think i did put that up it's the pastel dreams palette dupe that I made for myself so I think I'm only doing one look with that though as well at the most two um so I'm not going to count that as a palette even though it is a palette I'm not really going to count it as one see part of me really wants to pull this one but I've been using yellows for the last two weeks um I never thought I'd say this but I'm almost getting fed up of yellow eyeshadow look keep going back to this one 
it is quite summery i'm gonna pull it guys i think then that's gonna be it for palettes anyway yeah so i'll show you we all know what it looks like but she is quite summery you can use her in fall as well um okay guys let's choose blushes we, we need to be a little bit selective especially when it comes to cream blush so as i was saying earlier i know i want to use the tower 28 blush it's absolutely gorgeous it's in the shade golden hour i've missed this i've not used it for like a month i think at this point maybe more um so i want to pull that maybe pull this milani one out as well I've not really had too much time with this right i think what i'll do is i'll pull this milani one out um, because it's going to give me the same look as my self-made palette gives me. It's going to give me like the sunburnt look. Um, because that's what it looks like. I'll pull, bring the other one back. Let me just try and do that now. Right, so you're seeing it guys. I'm putting this one back. Um, I don't want to pull too much out. What is this flower one? Nectar. I want to pull the Steeler one as well. I'm pulling everything in like flat packaging. But I've not used them in ages. So this um, Steeler one is a lip and cheek. And again, that's beautiful. So, oh, what shade is that? I didn't tell you. Petunia. Okay, definitely pulling this because this is new to the collection. So it's by XX Revolution and it's in the shade Retro. I did a short on this, it didn't do too well, um, but I think it's a beautiful blush. Not many people like orange blush though, do they? Let me know in the comments if you like orange blush, I'd love to know, um, but that's that there. Regarding powders, I don't think I want that many, just purely because I want to pull this one. So this is the sleek, I guess it's like a contour kit in a way. Um, Karen was telling me it's a lot like the ABH one and I've seen the ABH one and she's right it is but I want to see if, like I know this and this is okay to use but I've not used the bronzer in a hot minute and I got this years ago guys I don't even know if you can get it so it's the face form contouring and blush palette it's in the shade light so we'll pull that and then there was a a Too Faced one I wanted to bring out I mean, I do really want to bring out this. This is gorgeous. And I really haven't used it that much. Even though it looks like a pan this. It came a hot mess. Um, I won't use it this time. Yeah, it came a hot mess. All smashed up. Which I'm really sad about. Right. So, I've got these little palettes. I don't want it for the eyeshadows. But. That is a gorgeous bronzer. So we're going to pull it for the gingerbread bronzer and I think I might want to pull one of the blush palettes. So we've got the Too Faced Eggnog Latte um, Peach Cobbler. I think I want to use that one um, and then this one, the egg, no, the Peppermint Mocha has got that Santa Baby blush in. I'll probably use that separate time. So yeah, let's pop these back. And I've moved my bronzers guys in this drawer. So I've got now uh, blushes, highlighters and bronzers all together. The only thing I want to pull out of the bronzer section I think is a cream bronzer I've had my eye on. Um, do I want any more powder blushes? I could do a travel size. I've only used this one once. Yeah, let's pull this one in that Lisa bought for me. I bought it for my birthday and I've only used it once and that is absolutely stunning. To be on oh too dark now. To be honest I don't want to use it at all because of the imprint. Um but we will use it. And I think we'll call that done for blush. Uh, so highlighter guys, I should have pulled this out last week. I put it on top just so I'd remember to do it. I did a short with this as well. This did quite well. It got over 500 views. She reminds me of me with um, having red hair and big boobs and wearing red lipstick. 
Um, so this is the Jessica Rabbit Ciarte highlighter in Roger Darling. My highlighter collection was kind of giving me blah vibes and I saw this on sale I think for about £6 so I just thought I would pick that up. I don't need the packaging do I not? So we've got that highlighter. I'm going to have to choose more than one. I know we've got one in the face palette I've chosen but what else do I want to use? I always struggle with highlighter guys and I don't know why because I've got loads I should not be struggling I've not long used that see I rotate through them that much that I don't know what to use okay the battery's getting angry again um right let's Let's start off with face products. Let's bring the drawer out. Okay, so creams. So creams are going back here. Just looks too dark to me, this. That's a bit better. Sorry I keep fiddling with the light, but I'm paranoid. Um, because the last few times the videos haven't really been acceptable, not even in my opinion um like when i watch shot my stash videos and the videos are dark i get annoyed guys so if you don't like the quality of the lighting just please let me know and i'll, and I'll continue to fiddle with it on my end um but i will improve just like he improved the quality of the videos with using a different camera so yeah i do appreciate you letting me know so now we've got let me get the other blushes well there's not really many it's just this I think for powder blush it's just this Moira one look how pretty that is want a couple more of them then we've got this sleek kit I'm going to show you what it looks like because the well, I've had it years but it is really really smooth still can you see how smooth they are well I'll show you actually bronzer, highlight and blush that looks let's turn it down a bit that looks so much like NARS orgasm in fact let's, where is it while it's on standby let's do a swatch of NARS orgasm right I think the sleek one is more pigmented but look how similar they look so if you're after a dew of the NARS Orgasm, uh, Milani do one and also Sleek does one. I don't know what that would be called by itself but they do do it. And that one, I feel like that one is actually nicer than the NARS Orgasm. It's more pigmented um, so I can't wait to use that. Um, then we've got this beautiful, beautiful orange blush. We'll do a swatch of this as well. I did try and do a swatch on another video, but again, the light washed it out. I don't know if that's true to what I'm seeing. Oh, that's better. That is beautiful. Where are we putting that? But super pigmented but it does say it is super pigmented so I'll have to go in with a very very light hand so we'll do that then we've got the Too Faced bronzer again I'll do a little swatch of this all these swatches are gonna make the video even longer but you guys might want to see swatches I don't normally do this many swatches let me know what you think swatches or no swatches just leave that in the comments either swatches or no swatches I'm happy to do whatever you want that's the cream bronzer there let's wash these off it's gonna be long anyway because at the beginning I did a haul um, organizational part of it didn't I so it's probably gonna be an hour and a half anyway but can't be helped Right, then we've got this NYX contour shade here. Not going to swatch that. We've also got this Revolution Long Weekend bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer, guys. 
looks like it might be too dark for me and even on the finger it looks too dark but blended in you can barely even see it on my skin tone that's one swatch there you can barely even see it so it's just a really nice glowy bronzer um, then we've got two highlighters here so we've got this one from that Christmas collection by Revolution it is quite like glittery I would say but it looks really nice on the skin it's got a little snowflake on it it reminds me of the Moira one Lisa got me a Moira one and that's like glittery as well um, so that's what it looks like and they look very very similar I think the Moira one is a little bit lighter whoops no it's fine um, and then we've got the Ofra Moon Dance this is beautiful so smooth as well look at that guys oh my gosh look at how smooth that is compared to that um but yeah love it loving the way this little shot my stash is going this time around right so palettes now no f mm, i don't I knew this would happen, right, so I forgot to put these in. I'm going to show you these sleek highlighters because they are mesmerising. This palette used to be the bee's knees around YouTube. Everyone was getting it, every influencer, and I eventually bought it as well. So you get in four highlighters, one's a cream. The cream one I won't use anymore just purely because it's so old. Um, but we've got this pink one here. And it's not obnoxious or anything, is it? You know, it's it's fine and blended in. It'll be it'll look even nicer. Then we've got a yellow one. Speaking of yellow highlighters, I was looking at the Solar Sailor highlighter by Kaleidos on Beauty Boxes by Tammy. I'm so tempted to get that. And then we've got the peach one here, which is a normal highlighter I would say but that's the yellow one there they're, they're just not obnoxious they're really really pretty and I've not used it for ages so how am I going to do this not that way okay okay um these palettes might have to go somewhere else well they are going to have to go somewhere else there's no room for them so again we've got I'll show you the bronzer in here this one looks quite glowy as well, it's got glitters in it. Right, I like that bronzer, so it's that one there. I'm going to take the bronzers that I put in. I'm going to take that bronzer out. And then the blush is Peach Cobbler. Real, real pretty. Aren't they pretty? They'll look really pretty together. So that one can go in there as well. Again, we need the light up. Sorry about this, guys. Um, the sleek highlighter. I don't think I'll have time to contour, so that can go back. I think oh, we've got another blush here. Right, so that one can go there. If it doesn't fit there, I'll put it in with creams. Let's see. No, I don't want that to get stuck. Let's put that with creams. Right, um, so eyeshadow palettes is next. This is going to be a nightmare. I need to swatch these colour pop ones. Okay, so let's turn the Sigma Enchanted out first. Like I said, I did use it. I think I used it last year at the end of the last year. Um, so, beautiful packaging. It even comes in with a nice little shield here, which I really, really like. Um, but when it came to using the palette, I bought this because Kelly Gooch recommended it. It's obviously a good palette for her, but for me personally, I didn't like it. Um, you get a really nice brush, which they claim the brush is almost to the value as the eyeshadows. Um, and I know Sigma brushes are expensive, but do you think that they put in... Do they sell these brushes on Sigma's website, or do you think they make these brushes for palettes? 
I think I feel like they make these brushes for palettes so they're cheaper. I don't know. Um, I'm just I'm just speaking my mind, um, which everyone is entitled to do. But let me know your thoughts now. If they make those brushes um, anyway, then yeah, it's worth it, I guess. Um, but for me personally, I want to give it another try because I don't think I like it. And if I don't like it, I need to try and figure out what I want to do with it. Otherwise, it's just going to sit there going bad. Right, um, and then these, I'm going to have to take these out. Right, so I pulled out yellow. Okay, let's try this one more time. What I've done, the Super Shocks, I've swatched them and put them in a magnetic palette off camera so I'll, sh I'll swatch them again and show you so let's put this down a bit okay so I was just saying the eyeshadow bases that I pulled in is this yellow one um, this purple one no lilac and this mint green one I'm going to I'll show you the yellow one they're really runny guys, really runny and that's why I don't really like them. You can already see it, the, how runny it is. I mean it's actually not too bad, I think I didn't shake it up last time. Right, so it's actually not too bad. Um, so that's those. Where are we going to put these? I think in this here. Okay, so palette, don't need to swatch this, we'll be using it, it's got some special shades in, this is a multi-chrome and that's a multi-chrome, that's the new Hypnosis, don't really want to be taking that out of the palette, um, and then that one is a duochrome, that one's a duochrome, that one is a duochrome which I don't know if I like, that one's fairly new, it's called Pixie, it's yellow and it's got an orange flip. But the formula, guys, is it's like a wet formula. Shall we turn the light down a bit? Do a swatch. I mean, it's a lovely colour and it definitely flips yellow to orange. Turn the light down a bit. Um, it really is a lovely colour. I just don't know if I'm going to like that on my lids because it's quite a wet formula. Um, so, let's see where we can put that. Was that nicely. Um, this palette, I bought Lisa this for Christmas. No, it was a birthday last year, I believe, because I bought her the Metropolis for Christmas. So I bought her one and I looked at it. I had a sneaky look at it just to make sure the eyeshadows weren't broken. And I saw it and I'm like, that is stunning. It's an absolutely stunning palette. Um, now, I don't really like the darker shades, but I can definitely make a few looks out of this I think um, so we're gonna use this I'll let you pick the palettes I use first I just want to use that dreamy palette and the Pat McGrath Labs one but I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs one tonight so um, out of these palettes I'll let you choose what we're gonna be using first um, and then we've got the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast what are they doing with BH Cosmetics is it just going to stay as BH Cosmetics website or will it go over to Revolution because I don't have a clue. Um, when I go over to order something on BH Cosmetics website it takes me to the Deutschland one. I think it's in Germany. I don't know whether they're going to be bringing it over to the UK or just leaving it there. I imagine with the warehouses and things like that and the staff then it would make more sense for it to be over there wouldn't it? Um, I've not heard anything about that, but yeah, I was just wondering. Um, right, so I want to show you this. So I wanted to swatch this one. This one's Game Face, and it was dry as anything, guys. Looks like it's dried up now, so I had to put some of this Kama Cosmetics. Um, what's it called? Lisa bought me this. It's just a mixing medium. So it just comes like that. It's just a mixing medium of theirs. Um, so I decided to try and revive it. And it was really, really wet. I don't know if it's sorted itself out yet. Yeah, it seems to have. Right, but it's still quite wet. So we're not going to be using that. I'll put that back in my collection. 
I've got a feeling when I do the declutter of singles that I'll be going. Um, so what I have used is I put four in. So they're just here. And we've got all these blushes as well. If I run out of blush options, I need to remember that. Because they've been in since last rotation. I'll tell you what eyeshadows we've got. Because I've got the casings here. Okay, we need to pull lipstick shut. And I feel like this video is so, so long. So that one there. Can we zoom in a bit so you can see more what I'm looking at. What I'm talking to you about. And zoom in. Right, so that one there is Hanky Panky. That one there is Oon. I think that one's La La and that one's Blaze. I didn't need the things after all. Yeah, that's right. So, Oon, La La. No, sorry. Hanky Panky, Oon, La La and Blaze. And then these are just deck of scarlet blushes um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna be using this at some point i feel like taking this enchanted palette and putting that bag there glider's palette and then putting this palette with the blushes here right they're gonna have to go somewhere else let's put them in this drawer put the casings in this drawer they can go back in the collection and um, that can as well that can and I think no we're not done um, because we've got lipsticks oh right so right so I'm gonna keep that um, YSL what's the number I think that's really really pretty pillar talk I didn't use it last rotation I used it to do a get ready with me that me and Naomi clabbed on so I'll leave that in 1975 red I really do like this but it's constantly in isn't it guys shouldn't we be pulling something else let's bring that out um we can put this one back I did use it so it's the Rimmel in Naughty Nude like that Still haven't used the Revolution and Sofax in the shade Cake, so I feel like I want to use that. We've got Max Whirl. Didn't use it. Gonna keep it in. Right, we've got this Christine Dior Warrant in Rouge Blossom, which is quite a nice summer lipstick, so we'll keep that in. I want to keep Kristen in. Really like that one. I'll put Cherry on top back. Actually, no, we need to use it up, so we'll leave that in. Um, Too Faced Queen Bee, I don't think I used it. Leave that in. And then we've got this Morphe one, so I need to put that somewhere where I can see it, so then I don't pull another red like it. So it's an orange-based red. So let's... The ones I want to concentrate on, I'm going to leave at the bottom. They're not going to be colour, colour coordinated, but that's fine. Um, I do just want to pull a couple more out. We do have three more spaces, but I didn't use that and I forgot about it. So that's that. And then we've got this one as well. I don't know whether to just pull one more out then. Um, I'll go for two and if needs be, I can get rid of this. So I'm just going to do that myself off camera and I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, um, so this is the last, well, second to last thing I want to do with you. Um, so I've got like four primer, no, one's an Emco Beauty one. Emco Beauty, I believe they're Australian, aren't they? Not too sure about this lippy. It's a beautiful shade, absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm sure I've got one by Primark which is similar, which is this one. This one had a bit of a funky scent to it, that's why I wasn't sure. Um, but I've kept it around the collection. This one is in the shade, this Primark one, it doesn't say. Typical Primark, no they're completely different shades. This one's matte. Um, so I could pull both those. And then we've got another matte one. These are really nice. It's just a really, really nice formula. And that's that one. 
you know i might put world back because i have used it just not enough um i might put world back and then pull all three of those shades but then we've got this liquid mat um and this one is in the shade vintage where can we swatch her oh that looks nice as well a bit dark but it looks nice I'm going to let it dry and then if it's dried by the end of the video I'll show you what it looks like I think I'm going to take Queen Bee out as well I'll take Queen Bee out, I love her so we don't even need to worry about that now what I'll do, leave Queen Bee in and take Cherry on top out because I don't really like it even though I need to be using it all um, and then we need to find a place for these three lipsticks, these eyeshadows, where can I put them? Yeah, that looks good. Because we need some summer lipsticks and we've actually got an extra space there. Um, let's bring the cherry on top one back then. And I'll probably use others. I'll try not to use others and because that's what the problem was last rotation. Because I pulled other lipsticks out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do an overview, guys. I'm going to show you how everything is looking. And then that will complete the video. And I'll have to go off, edit it and upload it. It's going to probably be uploaded early hours sunday morning i do like to get these videos up for shop my stash saturday it's just not going to happen today i'm lucky that i've managed to film this entire video without getting any pain but i have taken a lot of painkillers so i hope you don't mind that it's going up a little bit later than i planned i do plan on doing these every two weeks on a saturday and I do plan on putting it up at 8 p.m. British Standard Time. So my routine for Shop My Stash is if I get to use all the makeup products is every two weeks I will put it up on a Saturday. It's gonna go up a little bit later. Hope you understand. Um so let me go, so let me show you what my Shop My Stash is looking like. Right, so here is all Project Pan, and then we go over to the eyeshadow palettes. Um is really really full so that's my project pan eyeshadow palette that's the flower beauty one let's turn the light up um that's the bh cosmetics avocado toast my self-made palette sample beauty um that's the dream sorry that's the dreamy lights one the kaleidos the kaleidos flower punk and then the sigma enchanted is back there as well this back what's fallen right and then we've got my liners that I want to play with so you've seen everything there now we've got makeup brushes um, powders like the all this down here is project pan um, there's some eyeshadows here some liquid eyeshadows so this one is the Lottie London that I pulled last rotation and then this one is the Steeler that's been in there a little while it's um, called Little White Lies um, then we've got my Glossier Future Dew my collection Filter Finish and then we've got some foundations here the more BB creams so we've got the Essence Hydro Hero the collection lasting perfection so i think i only pulled them two in because i've got this one to use up as well so yeah i'll be doing that and then in the drawers it is a little bit dark but every time i turn it up it's um i think the batteries are going so in here we've got my powders then those empty casings for my super shock shadows we've got my concealers quite a few four in total it's a bit overkill um then we've got the hollywood flawless filter we've got this that i want to try it's the essence hydro hero under eye stick um so i do want to try that i tried it last night briefly and it is really really good i would say it's more skincare put this on before you put your hat 
put this on before your eye cream on to give you that extra hydration so it really should be in the bathroom um, but I'm putting eye cream on out here I'll be using the last of that today and then that will go in my empties in the bathroom um, so then we've got that that's project pan that's also a project pan which is my Jason Wu brow soap and then in the bottom which is always the most full isn't it guys we've got all my cream blushes here yeah they're all cream blushes apart from this one this one's a highlighter why is that there? it's gonna have to go somewhere else um, and that's powder blush it won't go anywhere else so see if that'll go there so yeah we've got highlighters bronzer blushes um, bases there for my eyeshadow some palettes here quite a lot of palettes but yeah I'm really looking forward to using all this a lot of it's really old there's a few new products in which I do like every so often I do like to bring new products in um, just because I get bored of shopping my stash because I do it so often I get bored with pulling the same old products even if it's just a five pound blush it makes it more interesting um so this is the video guys thank you so so much for watching today it really does mean a lot if you like shop my stashes why not hit that subscribe button it would mean so so much to me please like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys